Okay, so we're back. We're back at the spot. The place where, can you guess? <laughs> where you can live for free. Yeah, we grow food. And uh, trying to help each other. Connect with nature, you know it, you know it. Here I am, here I am, I'm back at the garden. <laughs> hey, welcome. Uh, look, we've got the van. We're at a spot. We're back into a bus. Whenever we first came to the garden, like two years ago, we were in a bus. And we're back in one. You want to see what, where we're staying at at the minute? Where we're living at? We're out the van, of course. The van. We've been traveling all throughout the West. And you know the size of the van. You love the Astro van, but it's a little small. It's a little small. I'm looking at this thinking you're the camera over here. This red button like a chicken. But you're over here. Hey. <laughs> so yeah, we moved, we moved into this bus. Let me show you around. Um, it's pretty nice. It's bigger than, you know, the van, so that's cool. But the part before the bus, our little back garden here, is a purgatory state. Here's our Burning Man bike here. It's all messed up and broken. Some more purgatory stuff, like the fridge stuff. <laughs> Just random bits that we haven't figured out yet. You know how it is. The new bike! Oh my gosh, it's so good. And, you know, random bits and bobs. It's pretty nice though at some point to be living here if we are going to be staying here for longer than you know 10 days which is you know the only allowed amount of time you're allowed here we haven't passed our 10 days yet so we don't even know will we will the community allow us to stay here longer we have no idea but so we're in purgatory state right now we're in the backyard as well essentially not really but i guess you got to be you got to have expectations i expect here to maybe be here for a little longer but you shouldn't, you shouldn't, um, and neither should I, I guess, it's an issue, you know, people come in here being like, I'm going to stay here for a few months, you know, and then they don't, they're not allowed to, you know, they get blocked at council, and then it's like, oh, so maybe I might get blocked, so we'll see, but this is the plan, we're going to like hang out here, and you know, if we did stay here for the winter, it's an amazing spot, because we have the wood storage, or one of many of the wood storages right here behind us, so It'd be very easy to keep the place warm at night. And you know we have the compost toilet right over there, but more on that later. So let's go in, see what the vibe is. Alrighty, <laughs> I'm inside. So one of the first spots when you're coming here is like this front area. That's the worst spot of them all, I swear. Like this is the worst as it gets when, when we first moved in here. We've been like the mess and random stuff. But there is beautiful things too, like this painting, and a great place to put my hat. <laughs> and now we've made like a little toothpaste spot right here, and so we can spit right out the window. My thought is if we develop the space more and we're staying here, I might want to turn this into a desk. So imagine getting rid of this wheel and then putting like a whole yeah, a desk there so I could work on my laptop and stuff like this in a space that I can call home for a little while. Of course, it's a temporary home, but um, you know, it's a space. I've got a little chair here I can chill at. A little drum situation. One of these old things. It just kind of collects dust, I'm gonna be honest with you. That's what it does. But there was a cool hat in here. So, I mean, what does it matter? Look at me now! <laughs> And you know, the business is here. We've got the solar actually rigged out, and I'll show you that outside in a minute. But this is what it's looking like right now. Um, we've got the little setup going on. We've got the fridge up and running. And we're even borrowing the fan from the garden right now because the garden, as a community, um, doesn't have proper solar. The solar panel is right now uh, oh, in the office. It's a sad story, to be honest. They're working, but the batteries just, just keep breaking. The inverter keeps breaking. We don't know what's up. Um, so we're kind of trapped right now within. But we, some people like myself have personal uh, solar. And so we have a fridge up and running now, which the community can use um, as they're pleasing. Um, and you know what's lovely? I got a carpet now. Look at me. I can hang out on this carpet and roll around and be cozy. That's not, you don't get that comfort usually here at the garden. 
it's pretty spanky i'm gonna be honest this is this is luxury i'm living in right here but i'll be honest i'm sweating my balls off so that's why we got this fan here that's usually in the office but the office don't have enough solar right now so we're gonna make this into the space julia is whipping up some uh, wine right there that's pretty nice and then in a little space this is the stove right now we obviously do not need that stove to be up and running it is boiling in here as i was saying but in the winter if we're still here or someone it's going to be the spot you know right there the wood stove compost toilet Woo, that is nice and so as we're getting closer to the bed we've got these random two beds that are right here right now it's just a pile of clothes and a pile of stuff and that's just gonna like be like that until we I guess make any real furniture in here And that's what we did at the dirt church when we had the dirt church when we, when we moved into the dirt church originally it was just like a shack And Julia, I and this guy Sam and many other people along the way Worked on it, we insulated it, we paneled it, roof, floor, walls, the whole thing and then furnitured the whole thing It was stunning, it still is now uh, So maybe we could do that again Who knows? <laughs> But here we are, at the bed! <laughs> it's the bird! So here we go, this is where Julian and I are sleeping right now. It's the spot. Uh, it needs work too. Because like, you know, right now it just has our bed on it. Um, and then there's like this other bed underneath. And then there's this like huge bed frame, which is just like way too big. Um, so it's always, you know, it's the garden. <laughs> if you check out our video, our first video when we came to the garden, I'll put it in the little thing up here or in the description. Um, it's whenever we first came to the garden. It was like, and, and it was our first few few days there. And uh, we moved into the mud bus and we did it all. We did it a little bit of work to it, to, to that too. So uh, anyway, bus life, back in a schoolie again. It's pretty sick. Um, I'm excited about it. It, it gives us more space, you know, and it allows us to stand up, move around, and actually hold space so that other people can also stay in it, which is really nice. Um, so I want to show you the front of the bus, but with the solar and how it looks beautiful, and there's things growing right here over there. But here, you know, this is the this is the reason why I'm here, guys. This is why. We chose this spot. We actually didn't choose it. It was the only space that was open. I'm a liar. <laughs> I didn't choose it, but thank gosh it was the one that was open because we have the compost toilet right next to us. This is heaven. Is someone in there right now? That'd be funny. Um, it truly is kind of a little slice of heaven having the compost toilet right next to you. And not only just the compost toilet, the nicest one. Here, you know, you got the toilet, the whole works. You know, there's a wee bit of running water. Um, right there, just a wee bit now. There's, uh, you know, we're in the summer, so there ain't a lot of water here at the garden. So, trinkle, trinkle, little star. I'll use a little bit and hope that my hands are clean. <laughs> now, nah, I got hand sanitizer at least, but it's a freaking beautiful piece of art. This, um, this compost toilet, and here's the sawdust that, uh, you know, the storage to, you know, put it over. And I won't show you anything graphic, don't worry, I'll block it. But um, here I am. And this is where, uh, you know, your stuff goes at a certain point. <laughs> Behind me right here is where it's going to, like, be stored once we move it from the ground here. And it'll sit there, and it could sit there for two years. And that's when it will be A-OK -okay to use. You know, some say you can use it in a year. Um, but just to be safe, two years is a good point to be at. And it's fucking so cool that we're able to grow food with our waste. And we do that by just understanding the techniques that need to be used, like making sure it's aerobic instead of, you know, being compressed by, or anaerobic. Oh, oh my gosh, I forgot the one! I forgot the wording! Which one is it? I've been out of this life for a hot minute. You know I've been out west doing the travel thing. So I have not been able to shit in a compost toilet in a minute. So this is stunning. This is stunning to me. Anyway, you do not want water getting onto it. 
You want it to be as fresh as daisies. So just keeping sawdust out of in, in it and keep your pee out of it. Don't let it compress like that. Let the air get to it. Let it breathe. And you know what? You won't be able to smell a thing because that's what I can do. No, sorry. What am I saying? I can't smell a thing. That's what I was trying to say. Can't smell a thing, but I can smell a thing and it's just pure, pure joy and freedom. <laughs> I don't know. I just, it just smells kind of like noblish. Yeah, but that's kind of cool, right? Here we are. We're at the garden. Uh, this is where we're living at right now. Um, and the main event, the front of the bus. It's absolutely stunning here, guys. Look at this. Yeah, beautiful. We've got plants growing all on the front here. And we've got some trees growing things too. I know there's carrots all in here too. We've got some squash or zucchini growing here. Let's see, what are we looking at? Where are we going? Maybe it's all being harvested. Who's to say? I don't see one right now. But this is it. This is the spot. We've got the solar panel right there. Here at the garden bus. It's absolutely fucking stunning, isn't it? <laughs> so yeah. This is not our spot. You know how it works. We don't live here forever. This isn't ours. This is a community bus that was brought here by someone. I don't know who. Um, and we're going to try and make it good. We're going to try and make it a nice space for anyone to come. Like anyone can come here. And you know a place where they can just like rest and you know call home for a little while. I'm going to put it into that state. So follow us on that journey while we make this space into a little slice of heaven. <laughs> yeah. Not for us. A bit for us. But for everyone we can share it. Like you. You can come stay in here. Alright. See you in a minute.